okay so i've dried that off just to make sure it's not going to run um and then what i'm going to do is just wet the areas where i want to add color now so clean water wipe the brush first so that you're not dripping um so when i'm adding this color in i feel like i need some sort of darks coming through um so i'm just wetting the paper a little bit um you can see i'm rolling the brush so not um covering every little bit of paper just to get some mark darker shapes coming through okay so i'm hoping that this is just gonna sort of link colors and just give it a bit of depth because we've already got one color underneath there I actually want to see sort of some dry brush marks as well in this technique. I think um, it breaks up all of that, those blurred lines and just gives it a bit more. Focus. And then just with an ever so slightly damp brush, just soften some of those edges out. I'm just going to soften those out a bit. Just taking a step back now, make sure I'm happy with what I'm seeing. I'm gonna blur out some of these edges, blur this top edge out because I think I prefer this sort of effect for the edges of the trees. That works better than that, doesn't it? Let's just soften that out. As long as you're not, as long as you haven't got too much water on your brush. So I'm dipping my brush, wiping it. And then add in the colour and it keeps it nice and soft. Right, I'm going to use this as a blending um, tool uh, that we've used before to blend um, pastels, actually. Um, but I like, it. I like that it's got quite a nice edge on it. So I'm just going to try and get my um, edge on this. But what you'll find is you get sort of a more broken line like you do with a card scraping so i prefer that effect Do let me know what you think. In the comments. <laughs> 